Face group is super useful and it's a tool which I use a lot in my projects. So here I have a cylinder and if I select the face group tool, right now it has one color. All these faces are in one group. But if I paint with the dot like this, now I've created another group for the top faces of the cylinder. Let's do the same with the bottom. Now we have three face groups, top, middle and bottom. Notice how some colors spilled out. To fix that, enable auto pick and start painting from the green part. Do the same for this area. So we have successfully created three groups. You can also use these selection tools to create face groups like this. Now, if I draw face groups on a curved surface like this sphere, the edges will most likely be jagged, especially on a low resolution object. You can use this relax tool to fix those edges. This relax over here also does the same thing. In case you want to delete all the face groups of your model, tap on reset. So we have created face groups. What now? What are we going to do with these face groups? There are many things you can do. For example, let's look at this arm. It has many face groups as you can see. I created them using the method I just showed you. I want to focus only on the hand while sculpting. The forearm and the upper arm are kind of getting in the way. I can hide them using these face groups and hide tool. Select the hide tool. Make sure on tap is enabled. Now just tap on the face group you want to hide. Now I can go back to sculpting and focus on the hand. Select the hide tool and tap on clear to unhide the hidden areas. Very very useful. Now select the mask tool and make sure on tap is enabled. Now simply tap on the face group to mask them instantly. You can now extract the masked area for clothes or you know or pose your model with the gizmo tool like this. You can also split an object based on its face groups like this. Another thing you can do is use face groups as guide for quadri measure. I'm drawing these face groups on the sphere, making sure the edges are clean with relax tool. Now notice when I use quadri measure with face group enabled over here, how it follows these face groups to create the topology. I remeshed the arm the same way. This is extremely useful and this is how I remeshed the entire character. Face is more complicated and deserves its own tutorial and I'm gonna make a tutorial on it in future so make sure to subscribe uh, if you found it useful and I will see you in the next video.